What's up guys? Today I'm flying back to Munich from Barcelona and I wanted to use this video to talk about living in another country. Okay, let's do it. to be back man hey I'm back what's up okay so this day is good I know this video is about living in Munich I just have been full trying to go to the office and telling you all about this video plus we have to pick up okay we have to pick up now uh, another package which is on my place, and I also... Ah, whatever, I don't know. Ooh. Hey, how's it going, guys? Okay, dear. Okay, ciao, ciao. Home, sweet home. Home, sweet home. Sweet, sweet. Ah, oh. uh, pretty cool package. Called Athletic. Greens. Do not buy this. I'm not getting paid to show this. I'm just trying this out. Basically, this is a supplement. It's like a, a green smoothie that you take every day. I just wanted to share with you the unboxing. Okay, let's do it. I need a, a knife. Oh, shit. This is what you want. Nice. Oh, that's it. Pure green, baby. Morning routine. Yeah. Okay, anyways, let's just keep with the topic here. Does it taste good? Ah, oh, God. I mean, it's not bad. It's earthy. It's super earthy, but it's good. It's good. So good. <laughs> I think I will get used to it. to Munich and why should you live here? What can you expect from Munich and is it worth it? Why move to Germany? All these questions I will answer in this video and I hope that I do a good job to make it as interesting and as informative as possible. Okay, let's get in. Why did I move to Germany? I moved to Germany because I was living in Venezuela and it was around 2017. I remember that my sister called me. She, at that time, was living in Germany, in Munich. And she called me like, hey, Fernando, what do you think about moving here? You, you could study here, you could learn German because I didn't know any German. And then I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I should do it because I was comfortable in my own country. Like, when you're in your own country, you know everything, right? You know your people, you're well connected, it's your language. Language, so you have all these commodities. One of the reasons that I moved there was because, or here in Germany, it's because Venezuela at that time was going through a really bad situation. What it means is 
that he will continue to tighten his grip of power. Venezuela has been gripped by the largest protests since Nicolas Maduro became president following the death of Hugo Chavez a year ago. Unrest that broke out in early February as peaceful student demonstrations has turned deadly. And it was just starting. Protests were breaking out and I really was seeing how the opportunities for me as a as a young teen or whatever i don't know young adult 17 years old were very limited when you're working in a country that has a lot of disadvantages like insecurity like doesn't pay well there's no jobs or like the economy is bad you are fighting against the current so one time i go to a protest and like this police the police is stupid corrupted police just like throws, starts throwing tear gas and then we start running and then one tear gas grenade falls in front of me and I just I inhale the entire tear gas and I start choking and they, they would do this thing where they would go with the motorcycles and they would accelerate, like they would chase you. I don't know, they would beat you up. And I was 17, dude. So I started running, I literally go into a building. So I start ringing all the bells and I explained the one lady, I explained her like, hey, sorry, like we're getting chased by the police. Do so you think you can let me in? And she lets me in. And that's when I said, fuck it all, fuck it all, fuck this, fuck everything. And that's when I call my sister. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to Germany. So now you know why I took a radical decision. So yeah, so that was one of my main, I would say, motivations to come to a different country. But at the same time, it was not the only one. At that time, Germany was like, was one of the first economies in Europe. I knew that the Germans were like super organized, insecurity was as low as possible, and especially in Munich. Opportunities were rising. I, I mean, it was like, dude, this thing is booming. I need to be where good things are happening. So I moved to Germany without knowing any word of German and without having, I think, any any backup at all. Like I had my sister, but even she had told me that I had to work and just push myself because she couldn't like afford paying for both of us. Okay, so <laughs> I just noticed that there's a flaw in my story. By the way, I'm Fernando three days from now, from, from that video. And there's gonna be another Fernando this Fernando that it's also gonna be coming in a lot so the timeline is kind of flipped <laughs> so wait 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 uh, okay so what I wanted to say with this interruption is that I told you why personally I came to Munich but now that I have been living here six years I can tell you that if you're moving here you're gonna love this city for example I think Munich is the best city in Germany no kidding <laughs> <laughs> because first of all it's super clean like it's insanely clean comparing to other cities that I have been here like Köln, Berlin they're kind of dirty I don't know why so if you're a person that really enjoys a nice clean city that this is it second of all something that I quite enjoy is security like you can walk at night it could be three in the morning you don't need to be looking left and right nobody nobody's getting robbed in the streets and that's something that i was always scared in venezuela when you're using like public transportation it just works flawlessly you don't need a car here it's actually counterproductive to buy a car like if you're buying a car it's because you are traveling between cities a lot i really enjoy the fact that this city is so well connected with nature for example i did a whole video about like things that you can do here like i really enjoy going for a run in the mornings then going to the english garden and being with my friends drinking a beer if you're a person that likes being in a city but at the same time likes kind of like the suburbs this is definitely a city for you apartments a bit hard to find but i talked that in this video as well i think you're gonna really like it so it's the perfect balance between nature and a big city dude you're gonna love it okay to the next part It's like one of the things that you do here is that you come, you grab a uh, case of beer and you put it in the in the river and then they cool off and uh, you have a lot of fun. <laughs> Germans, dude, they're, they're very interesting, especially their language sounds like you're misbehaving somehow every time somebody speaks to you. Stilo. Pen. Kugelschreiber. You know the electric stair staircases? Always stay to the right 
If you're not moving on the staircase, you need to stay to the right. Because if you stay to the left, then people are gonna be like, What the fuck are you doing? You got the flip out. Germans, like, they are, wanna be on time, so they need space. So if they're not on time, they need to run or, like, move faster. So that's why you need to always, on the staircase, lift the place free. What's up, guys? It's Fernando, the editor over here. I actually forgot to say many things. I think the most famous one that I know is, like, Germans are like pineapples. So they're harsh in the outside, but very sweet in the inside. I have been in, in the US and for example, how strangers treat themselves is very friendlier than here. And I don't know if that that's for every part of Germany. I think I'm just speaking for Munich, I guess, and my experience in Munich, because for example, in the US, everything's like, hi, how are you? How's everything? Oh, great, nice. So what would you like? But here people are just, I don't know, dead in the inside when they don't know you or something. I mean, like I go to a grocery stores all the time and it's they're not gonna be like, hi, how are you? Oh, wow, nice t-shirt. No, people don't wanna talk but if they know you then literally it's a different treatment people really change when they know you i would even say that germans in summer turn more friendly or at least their tolerance of friendliness is more nicer but when winter comes everything's like Ah, stress! <laughs> One thing that I really liked about German friends is like they're super reliable. That means that you can really count with them if you need something, if you need help. And uh, Latin friends is like, yeah, let's do something. And everybody's like, yeah, yeah, we do it, we do it. And nobody does it. But here it's like, okay, let's do something on Friday. And literally all your German friends are like, okay, but on Friday I don't have time. But on Monday I have time. Should we lock it in? And you're like, Okay, great, and then they will be there on Monday at that time. And that brings me to another point, punctuality in Germany, it's key. If you're not punctual with your friends or with your work, people don't like that, like not at all. So I would always suggest you 10 minutes before anything. Be there 10 minutes before, especially if you're doing a party. Be sure to let people know it, it is at a time that you think you have everything done because people will start showing up to your door at that time. Like if you said at eight, people will be there at eight, which is something that I was completely not used to because I was like, yeah, I'm gonna say at eight. And then they just come at eight and point and I'm like, does these people don't have a life? And it's not, they, it's not like that. It's just like they say at eight and it's at eight. <laughs> you can kind of get it. So German friends, really reliable, be punctual and don't feel offended if people are not that friendly at the beginning just understand that that's how the culture is they're not friendly from the start but once you get to know them it's the best it's the best thing so I am here where the university is it's the LMU it's like a super famous university like literally if you're coming to Munich to study it's either here or at the TUM so T-U-M but I don't know, it's not like a typical campus. It's more like an open area. Like it goes through the city like this. It's inside of the city. It's inside of the, what? It's inside of the city. And you get like this amazing two fountains, basically one and, and then there's a two. And then there's like a small connection to the English garden, which is pretty cool. It's a huge garden and uh, it's amazing. But yeah, I really like it. It's beautiful. Uh, if you go inside, I mean, I should go inside. Okay, we're going inside. This place is huge. It's insane. I actually have been here, I think once in my life and this is the second time actually, but it's amazing. I mean, it's massive. It's massive for sure, look at this. What the flip? <laughs> Whoa. 
I just have to say, if you're starting in here, I think you're gonna love it. I mean, it feels like a freaking castle. Look at the doors, it's like, these are rooms. Let me show it to you. Hura Sale A30. So this is where you get in. And here you have a bench. <laughs> but anyways, I think I'm gonna leave this beautiful place. If you study here, 10 out of 10. Maybe one day I visit the tomb, which is the other university. But in the meantime, I hope that you enjoy it, even though I showed you just a bit of the university. I'm freaking exhausted. <laughs> Okay, so I'm here at the Olympia Centrum and this place is actually pretty cool because there's these awesome apartments. Like these are very small apartments and I think only students can get them. Look at this entire place. Full with apartments, brand new. I mean this stuff you don't see every day in Munich. Especially because everything is so expensive to build. And then you get these small cubicles. It's not a cubicle, it's like bungalows. They call them bungalows or something like this. I mean they're pretty cool. So let me show it to you. How cool is that? It's like, it's like a mini city, literally. I'm trying to see if I can get an interview. <laughs> it looks like you get kind of like the kitchen and then that's your room. Hey man, do you, do you live here? Yeah. Do you like living here? Yeah. Like? Yeah. <laughs> How do you get an apartment here? Uh, you apply at a student union. Yeah. It, it wasn't hard? Yeah, it was really yeah. hard. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like you know, we stay a lot on the waiting list. And you have to be a student. Of course, yeah. of course. You have a lot of parties here? Yeah, like mostly Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So mostly Mondays, Tuesdays, yeah. Wednesdays. Yeah. <laughs> can I just leave you my contact then? Yeah. You can be like, hey man. <laughs> Basically took over because me from the past it's completely tired so I decided that I would take over <laughs> So hello guys, it's me from the future. Okay. Anyways, let's talk about apartment. Yes, man Well, we all wanted apartments. Yeah Finding apartments in Munich. It's like it should be a national sport I promise you like people are always searching for apartments here. I am constantly looking for apartments. Like I am now in an apartment with an unlimited contract, but I'm still looking for a better apartment. That's how it is. I don't know in other cities how it is. Normally here, it's like this. A lot of people, or especially me, I thought that the city center was like, I needed to live in the city center because everything outside would be just too far away. One of the biggest errors that I that I did was to think like that because Munich, it's well connected. You have S-Bans, which are the main trains, and then you have like subway, you have buses, trams, like you can really get around Munich super easily. Meaning, if you live, let's say in passing, which when I was living here at the beginning, I thought it was the end of the world, it actually takes you 30 minutes to the city center and that's actually not a lot. It works wonders. What I'm saying with this is like living outside of Munich, it's not actually a bad thing. Could be actually a better thing because you get lower prices and probably a bigger apartment. Okay, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks. Here it goes. Small apartments, high demand. Applying two times a day is key. Be sure to have a really refined applying letter. Tip number four, at this thing, it's kind of like a theory, but for example, if you go to an apartment, right? Let's say your friend's apartment, who is in the city. If you go to, to the downstairs, you will see that there's, there's information about the apartment, like there's the numbers of the janitor and stuff like that. And then lower, normally there's the number of the company that takes care of the building. You could take these numbers or this email and write them like, hey, I'm friends with this person uh, that lives in this apartment. In any case, there's somebody moving, I would be interested. What could happen is that they're like, oh, cool. Uh, uh, let's take him in consideration and you could be on the list that doesn't mean that you need to break in in all the apartments from Munich and do that but if you get the chance to contact directly the the company that it's organizing the buildings here then do it but I don't I don't know <laughs> be advised I'm not an expert okay guys so that's it hope that you like my longest video ever of course it's meant to be skipped 
or looked through. I just wanted to do this video because I think I have so much information about Munich and I still could share so much with you. So if you ever have questions, just leave them down below because I really want to help out. I mean, that's the whole point of my channel sometimes, just helping other people out. If you want to move to Munich, you should do it. It's a beautiful city. I enjoy it and I think I will live here for probably the rest of my life. Nevertheless, if you like this video, let me know and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye bye.